welcome to Curly Sue's plant-based show. And today on our show, we have the lovely Danielle Monpetri. Have I pronounced that correctly? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yes. Who is a vegan pastry chef. Now, this is quite exciting. I've never met a vegan pastry chef before. I know there are around. Maybe I met one at VegFest one time, but there aren't many vegan pastry chefs around. So this is going to be quite exciting to, to talk to you about your vegan journey. So first of all, tell me, what was your journey? How did you become a vegan? You know, how has it been being a vegan on your journey? Tell me about your vegan experience. Well, thank you for accepting me uh, in uh, the show. Uh, I'm uh, a vegan pastry chef and I worked uh, as executive pastry chef in uh, five size hotels in the UK and uh, abroad. And uh, two or three years ago, let's say, uh, when we had um, a vegan guest uh, coming in the hotel, for instance, for an afternoon tea, he said, uh, what uh, would you suggest um, for a, a vegan option? We had very few uh, options. Uh, it was very frustrating. Um, it was most of the time a fruit salad or a fruit uh, sorbet. Yeah. Uh, we bought uh, a few items from the uh, industry, but it was expensive. And sorry, the presentation was not always uh, uh, fantastic. So it was uh, frustrating and for me and for the guest. So I decided to uh, create my own range of vegan dessert but I wanted to focus upon presentation and taste. Mm -hmm. And my challenge is, was and still is, vegan desserts are easy to make, taste yummy and look fantastic. Absolutely, I totally agree. I have a sweet tooth and I love desserts. They're my favorite thing. So this is, this is quite exciting. So are you a vegan yourself? Yes, I'm a vegan oh, myself. Okay. I became um, a vegan. Um, uh, initially, mainly because uh, I couldn't stand uh, uh, the cruelty uh, towards animals. Mm -hmm. um, um, I had a grandson uh, for his Christmas uh, when he was uh, uh, seven, eight years old. Uh, I offered him uh, uh, a membership for the WWF. So he okay. adopted uh, a Jaguar. And so from that time, uh, we were very, very uh, uh, close to this uh, campaign against uh, animals' cruelty. But I would say that um, uh, vegan or veganism, it's not uh, only a, a, a diet. Mm -hmm. It's also uh, an attitude to, towards um, the world. I mean, say, uh, if uh, you uh, don't uh, throw a plastic on the street, I think this is a vegan mm -hmm. attitude. Uh, okay. If you give a hand to uh, somebody in need, uh, this is a vegan attitude it's, as well. So, I mean, it's a global uh, approach of life. It's a movement. I see, I see what you mean. So what do you say to people who say, oh, vegan food is boring and it's not tasty? Oh, no, no, no. I really, really, really don't agree. And I'm, I must say that the progress and the research uh, for uh, the new ingredients is really uh, fantastic nowadays. And... Uh, there is really, really no difference between vegan desserts and, uh, let's say, classical desserts. I would even say because we are so much focused on research that quite often the vegan desserts become better. Yes, because I had um, tea at the Ritz. Um, it was my older yes. sister's birthday. We had tea at the Ritz and the vegan options they had were amazing. Um, really? I didn't feel like I had anything less than anyone else, which is usually the case when you're a vegan, you go somewhere and they say, oh yeah, we've got the vegan option, the, the singular, where everybody else has a choice and you just get one thing. And I always say, look, yeah. the same way people who eat meat and fish don't all like the same things. It's the same with vegans. We don't all like the same thing. So why of is the option yeah. one thing? So I think it's, there's a lot of education, I think that needs to go into what is a vegan? So I always explain it to people. A vegan is somebody who eats no meat, fish, dairy, eggs, and honey. And a lot of the time people get confused. And the reason they get confused is there are people who are not vegan, but they call themselves vegan. And I'll give you an oh. example. A friend of mine, he said, oh, my sister's vegan, just like you. I went, oh, that's really great. He said, she only has a little bit of meat once a week, but uh -huh. she's vegan. Uh -huh. I said, your sister's not vegan. 
And of course, I said, yeah. it's a bit like saying I'm a little bit pregnant. Either you are pregnant or you're not. You either you are vegan or you're not. You if exactly your, yeah. your sister is flexitarian, so there's a yeah. big difference in terms of that. Um, I totally agree. Yeah. Yes. So in terms of what you do nowadays, do you still work in hotels or where do you make? No, no, I'm concentrated now uh, uh, first uh, on uh, uh, first a cookbook. Uh, Mm -hmm. It's published. It's called, uh, uh, I have it here, uh, Vegan Deserve Better Than a Fruit Salad. (laughs) So. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) I love the title. (laughs) Yeah, many people, I do love it indeed. uh, so it's over 60 recipes. Uh, I revisit um, uh, many classical, uh, iconic uh, English desserts, uh, eaten mess, uh, sticky toffee pudding, continental desserts, uh, uh, themed uh, desserts, uh, Easter, Christmas, and also a very important um, basics section because uh, uh, it's uh, quite often missing in, let's say, the classical uh, vegan uh, literature. So the pastries, the the sponges, the creams, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, etc. So this is one activity. Uh, The second one is uh, I give uh, courses uh, live uh, at uh, the Vegetarian Society Cookery School. I also give courses uh, online and uh, I give uh, more and more uh, demos. I really do like and just uh, recently this is kind of a scoop. Uh, I uh, will give um, two demos how to use uh, plants, herbs, and flowers in mm-hmm. vegan pastry. Guess where? In the RHS uh, flower show, Hampton Court Palace. And this is something I was dreaming of, uh, and I'm really happy uh, to create the link between vegan pastry and the flower shows. Uh, so, this is my direction for the moment. That is brilliant. So RHS, for those listening, is the Royal Horticultural Society for the UK. Oh, yes, we have a global yes. audience listening and watching. And also, oh, you're you, right. mentioned, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. you mentioned about your grandson having a gift of the membership to the WWF. That's the World Wildlife Fund, just in case anyone wasn't sure what that meant. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. So that's great. So where can people buy your cookbook? Uh, they can go uh, on my website www.freefromdesserts. Uh, they can buy it from uh, the publisher, which is Olympia Publishers, uh, mm-hmm. or of course you always have uh, the uh, Amazon uh, option if uh, it's the other ways are difficult, and online at Waterstone. Oh, right. That's brilliant. Okay. So can you show us a quick sneak peek of the inside of the book? Of course. Yes. I just love the name of the book. <laughs> I love it because that's what I struggle with. And I think when they give you a fruit salad, I think, how lazy. All right. It's a lovely, lovely book. Yes. Oh, this is uh, Easter, uh, Christmas, pardon. Uh, this is a Christmas boot. Mm-hmm. You see? Oh, fabulous. Uh, I'm coming to uh, an opera cake, passion fruit and the raspberry. I love opera. Uh, Vatra, this uh, vegan meringue. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is very popular. It's a classical French dessert, uh, uh, le fraisier. Mm-hmm. This is a panna cotta, oh, a right. revisit yes. uh, fruit tartlet, mm-hmm. panna cotta, apricot, uh, uh, sablé pastry. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the uh, famous uh, Black Forest Gateau. Yes. Uh, so this is a crumble revisited. Mm-hmm. Uh, trifle eaten at uh, uh, the chocolate fondant is very, very popular as well. Oh, brilliant. Those look like yeah. some really delicious desserts um, that you're showing yeah. us there. Yes. So now I know you have a dessert that you're going to make for us today. What is it called? Well, I wanted to present uh, a very easy, a quick, a funny a little uh, cheesecake. Uh, oh. It's a, a mango and passion fruit uh, Easter nest a cheesecake. So I'm going to use um, these uh, kind of uh, a little molds. Okay. And yes. the funny thing is I'm going to work upside down. So okay. 
I'm going to start uh, with uh, the base, mm -hmm. which is uh, 20 grams of uh, vegan spread that I'm going to melt in the microwave. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to add to 50 grams of ground vegan digestive uh, biscuits. So just right. 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And the molds are silicone molds that you're using, little round yeah, silicone You can molds. find them easily uh, uh, online. Uh, mm -hmm. There is also uh, a company called the uh, Home Chocolate Factory who oh, sells okay. these molds mm -hmm. online. Very, very cheap. I think it's eight or nine pounds and they have uh, hundreds of different uh, uh, sizes and uh, uh, patterns. Yeah. Fabulous. So we melt the right. butter. How quick? Yeah, yeah. So, so this is my uh, vegan spread, uh, ground vegan digestive biscuit. Where do you find vegan digestive biscuits? Oh my kids, you have this uh, free from brand. Oh um, yes, of course, in the free from section in the supermarket. Uh, uh, yeah, they do have that. Uh, yeah. uh, it's quite helpful when you start to find uh, the vegan ingredients in the supermarket. But what I have to say is that they don't follow it up regularly. Many, many times you try to buy something and it's missing. And this is really frustrating and unacceptable. Yes, I, I would agree. So yes, I mean, uh, it the to all the time. So I just mix, you see, stir. Uh, so uh, the biscuits have absorbed all the fat of the vegan spread. Mm -hmm. yeah. And because uh, I'm working upside down, I'm just going to roll it out. Do you see? Yeah, if you can go further back. If you are, yeah. Voila, I'm just... Yeah, yes, yeah. Roll oh, it. That's right, so you turn the mixture out onto some greaseproof paper. Or uh, two, yeah. Uh, two. Yeah. Uh, greaseproof um, paper, like this. You see? I press. Oh, so you put bit. them... You sandwich it in between the yeah, two voila. paper and then roll so it out with a rolling pin. Okay. It's going to be regular. Uh, let's say a two millimeter thick. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. How does it? Well, now you see perfect. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, it's thin. And, uh, I'm going to harden this uh, for uh, a few minutes in, uh, in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Voila. All right. And when you um, crush the digestive biscuits, do you do that in a blender? Yeah, I do this uh, in a blender, very, uh, very easy, uh, yeah. Now, while this is uh, uh, in the freezer, we're going to prepare uh, the cheesecake mix. Mm -hmm. Very, very easy. I have here 150 grams of um, vegan alternative cream cheese. You have yeah. many uh, brands now. Uh, Vio Life, uh, yes. the supermarkets have their own brands of uh, mm -hmm. plant-based uh, cream cheese. So this is one thing. A little bit of sugar. I recommend uh, the unrefined golden castor sugar if you can, mm -hmm. 25 grams. To give a little bit of uh, a velvety uh, texture, a little bit of uh, plant-based cream, yes. 40 grams. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the flavor. And to make our life uh, easy, I even chose uh, a very good mango and passion fruit smoothie oh. uh, that uh, I'm going to thicken with uh, a little bit of our uh, vegan thickener called the Ego Ego. Uh, oh. This is how you find it uh, in the supermarkets. Yes. Uh, I recommend the powder because um, uh, the flakes are a little bit. Uh, more difficult to use. You yeah. just have to know about the powder that mm -hmm. it has to be solved, dissolved in the liquid. Yes. And secondly, uh, it has to be brought uh, to the boil. And yes. so this is what replaces gelatin. It sets at room temperature, which is very good. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use uh, my big container. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I use agar gonna... agar to make. Um, panna cotta because I made a raspberry panna cotta exactly. dessert at yeah, Christmas yeah. time. This YouTube is the classical day. vegan substitute uh, uh, to thicken um, the, the, the creams. Uh, um, 
Okay. So this is my uh, mango and passion fruit uh, smoothie. Uh, mm -hmm. I have 180 grams here. I'm mm -hmm. just going to add a teaspoon of uh, egg powder mm -hmm. and I'm going to bring to uh, the boy. <clears throat> So it's just a normal smoothie that you bought and then you've just, you're just going to thicken it. A very simple smoothie. Now, if you want, uh, you can buy a mango, a, a, a fresh fruit. Uh, you can puree it, maybe add a little bit of uh, water because it's so quite thick. I just wanted to show uh, easy options. Yeah. Because you remember my challenge. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, of course. No, that's great. That's great. I didn't think to do it that way with a smoothie. So that's really good. Every day is a school day because I would have just pureed the fruit, but the smoothie thing is much easier because it's pureed yes, anyway. Yeah. yeah. They have quite a, some good ones. I make a, a pomegranate cheesecake, for instance, with this good uh, a pomegranate uh, juice, uh, very mm. healthy, uh, mm. quite nice. It's in the book uh, as well. And it's also uh, upside down. Uh, the smoothies yeah. are very, very uh, good uh, and easy to use, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> I need a, to get a copy of your book. My pleasure, you just give me your address. Okay. It's a pleasure uh, to send you a copy, of oh, course. Now, while uh, the, um, the smoothie is uh, bring, bring to the boil, <laughs> let's just mix uh, this one. So mix the cream cheese with a hand whisk, which is good, the electric hand whisk, which is good. I can already see this is going to be delicious, I can tell. And this is a shame that we're doing this online, this interview, because I'm thinking I really want to lick coal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Voila, you see my liquid... Uh, yeah. Boiling. Oh. A last oh, whisk. So pour it into the um, cheese. The cream yeah. Cheese mix. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now, if you want to have uh, a bright color, yeah, a bright yellow color, if you wish, you can add a little bit of uh, turmeric powder. Ah. Oh, okay. Voila. It's about how much? About half a teaspoon? Uh, this is uh, a little bit up to you uh, how bright you want the color. For the moment, I put, um, yes, uh, half of uh, a teaspoon, but you see, it's uh, not crazily uh, yellow, so I can go a little bit uh, wider. Mm -hmm. But um, for the moment, I'm going to keep it this way because okay. I promise to uh, make it. Uh, Quite uh, short, so yeah. I'm just gonna pour. Pour it into the bottom of the molds. Okay. Mold. How easy? Are those donut molds? Is that a donut ring mold? Yeah, yeah but I mean, uh, you can make. I think mean, you will see in the book there is a whole chapter about a cheesecake. You can make uh, many, 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 many different shapes. I just wanted to show uh, something different from you know the big uh, around the. Uh, Spring form or cheesecake or yes. what else? Yes. So this is going to be brought to the freezer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it aside. You pour it into the mold and put it into the freezer. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because uh, I have a surprise. Oh, okay. I love surprises. <laughs> what could he be surprising us with? Or surprising me even. What you can see, it be? Ooh, here is one I prepared earlier. I have uh, a little uh, cheesecake uh, mm. that I made uh, before uh, just for you. Oh, it's the set. Okay. Which means that you can make this uh, cake in advance. This yeah. is always very valuable mm -hmm. because I also want to convince people that. You don't have to spend uh, the whole day in your kitchen to make no. a vegan pastry. Mm -hmm. It's just a question of organization. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. now I'm going to finish with uh, some uh, vegan uh, decoration. Right. I have here, let's say, our uh, vegan into, uh, buttercream into brackets, of course. So mm -hmm. this is just 
a vegan spread with a little bit of uh, icing sugar. Yes. And uh, the color here is uh, matcha powder. Right. Mm -hmm. Or you can use uh, spinach, but it's a little bit liquid, so it's difficult to uh, to uh, to whisk together. Right. So okay. this is just a little uh, decoration okay. like this. Voila. So it's a nice green. Color. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're putting the little stripes on it. Oh, it looks very pretty. And then between you and me, I show you how to make a. Uh, a little leaf so I just cut you see like this mm -hmm. oh quite uh, like a kind of an angle yeah I just press up up oh, okay voila and then these are little birds I made this is icing sugar and this mm -hmm. is aqua fava and just that's it and oh, okay. uh, a little bit of turmeric but aquafaba is so well uh, the uh, the one. Yeah. I just wanted to show you that you to make our life easier. You now have this uh, Ox yes. uh, brand. Yes. Very easy. I use to, it. Use, you don't have to uh, to have uh, to eat uh, almost um, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner anymore. So yes. This <laughs> yeah. So you just uh, pipe. Well, this is a little bit of my uh, pastry chef uh, history. Uh, Mm -hmm. I do agree. Up, oh, voila, voila. Uh, now I don't know what can you find uh, in a nest. Uh, well, maybe a little rose, but this you can yeah. find uh, yeah. in uh, many shops. Uh, voila. Uh, maybe a little uh, ivy leaf. <laughs> Why not? Okay, like this, and then. Uh, we're gonna make some uh, branches with the uh, chocolate. Oh, we're getting very fancy today. Voila. So, this is uh, a tempered chocolate, but well, yes. this is another story, yeah, uh, yeah. that uh, I just uh, put to set in the fridge. And the acetate, to, yeah. Mm -hmm. and stripes, and voila. I just put a random pum pum like this. Wow. Voilà. Vegan desserts are easy to make, taste yummy, and look fantastic. I hope I have convinced you. Oh, I was convinced already. But yeah, so for those listening and watching, yeah. So if you could hold it closer to the camera for us, please, so we can see it. Yes. Oh, it looks really pretty. So it looks like a nest with birds exactly. and chocolate is kind of like the straw in the nest. It looks amazing. And that didn't take very long at all. It's just a question of, I think sometimes people aren't confident. Exactly, exactly. This is something I wanted to mention. Uh, pastry, vegan pastry, is not really a question of uh, recipes. Uh, it is a question of self-confidence. This is mm -hmm. why uh, online courses, of course, there are courses where you share um, your experience with other people are so helpful because mm -hmm. everybody gets help from everybody. We ask questions, we make mistakes, we do again. This is very important, self-confidence. Yeah, okay. So where can people find you on social media? Where can they find you? Oh, I prepared something for you. Oh, okay. I hope uh, you can see. Yes. yes. So we can find you. I have your a website. website free I from... have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And I recently also created uh, a group on Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. It's called uh, Vegan Deserves Better Than a Fruit Salad. And <laughs> it's really, really successful. I'm very, very pleased uh, about it. And there is uh, Instagram, of course, uh, oh, with uh, cool. my post. It's called Vegan Desserts Better Than Fruit Salad. Yeah. Better. I'm just looking it up. Better than a fruit salad. Okay. All right. Yes, I think I'm going to join that group. Oh, uh, that's great. So the, the group is More called Vegan Desserts Better Than a Fruit Salad? Yeah. 
Oh, that's quite a long name. Okay, groups, here we go. Okay, yes, I found it. Okay, I will join and see what I can pick up. That sounds really exciting. So for um, your website, let if I just read it out, if you hold that up again for me, please. So for, her, for Danielle's website, it's www.freefromdesserts.com. On Facebook, it's Free From Desserts. And Instagram, it's D more per tuis, D M A U P E R T U I S. Um, so you can follow Danielle on those platforms, and you've got courses and you've got um, a Facebook group as well, and lots of wonderful ideas on how to do all this stuff. It is amazing. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with that. So, yes, um, thank you so much for all of that oh, today. It was wonderful to watch your you in action, a vegan pastry chef, one of the few that we have in the UK, um, as far as I know, um, to watch you in action and just to see how easy and quick it can be if you just know a, a few, you know, techniques and they're not even difficult techniques either so yeah. you've made it look wonderfully easy and that is that is amazing so thank you so so much for today it was a pleasure it was yeah really because yeah. i really love uh, pastry and i love vegan pastry yes and yes definitely follow danielle on um, social media and go buy her book it's available on amazon it's called vegan desserts better than a fruit salad i love the name and it's also available um i'm sure from your website people can click through and get yeah. it yeah so get her dessert book as well yes that will be wonderful so thank you so much for joining us today it was lovely to meet you and to see what you do and we'll see you again soon Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.